What a weird <laughs> piece of chunk. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? The wood does look pretty weird. Um, some kind of a burr of some kind. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. But what can I make with that? So I found this lurking around in my shed. It's rather like Pinocchio's nose. This has been lurking around for quite some time and is rather large and strange, which is what we love. So I'm gonna smash this up on the lane and see what we come up with. Now, before we carry on, I just want a quick mention for today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Now, if you haven't heard of Raid Shadow Legends before, you're gonna love this. Have you ever dreamed of fitting an amazing, truly AAA quality game right in your pocket? <laughs> Something you can dive straight into at any time, whenever you want. Well, <laughs> look no further. Raid Shadow Legends is the game for you. With 500 champions to collect, each with their own skill trees, and there's millions of artifacts to find and equip. It makes for literally trillions of ways that you can build your teams. What I love about Raid Shadow Legends is the graphics are amazing. I mean, check out this clan boss. You gotta get involved and join a clan. So what's new about Raid? Well, Raid have just released a huge update. Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses. And I just can't wait to dive straight in. There really has never been a better time to start playing this game. And here's the best part. The team at Raid are giving away a bunch of new free goodies, plus a super special champion to help get everyone started in the tower. Bulwark, he's absolutely awesome. Now, if you want a huge head start in raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description. And if you're a new player, you'll get your free void champion Bulwark. 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. These rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players. Honestly, this game is crazy cool. Don't forget to check out the link in the description and I'll see you there. Okay, people, I'm gonna need to do some sharpening. I haven't sharpened my tools in a little while, and that's a bit naughty. So, I'm gonna get the sharpening kit out. Check this out. Oh, yes. So, what we got in here is a bit of lap dance fluid. Nice bar of soap. Wash your hands before you do this. Nice bit of leather, just in case you wanna make a belt before you sharpen your tools. Comes with a nice purse. And this chunky piece of metal. I think they just add this in there to stop the box from floating. Another little handbag. Another weight. 
really cool brochures and a rubber just in case you make any mistakes while sharpening. I'm just using the 600 now. Some people will say you do a figure of eight, but really you don't need to do that. That's just if you're really fancy and you want to show off. Right, so there's 600. Now what I'll do as well is I will get out, jump up to a thousand as well. Now you see all that black? That means I'm doing it right. <laughs> there we go. There is my little cutter, nicely sharpened. You can do that the same for your square cutters as well. Again, you don't need to do anything fancy to sharpen these carbide cutters up. Okay, okay, sorry about this. I didn't realize, but these numbers up here, 600, 1000, just worked out what they're for. So if you ever want to sell these, this one's worth 600 quid and this one, a thousand. <laughs> Pretty expensive bits of metal. <laughs> Right, look at this weird shaped <laughs> piece of wood. Um, I kind of quite like the wood as it is really. Um, I'm not too sure if I should add any resin or not. Maybe I should, obviously got a few little kind of dinks here so we could potentially put a bit of resin in there. But other than that, it's not really got like big cracks in it or anything to sort of, you know, fill up the voids or anything like that so you're not really going to get much effect i don't think from any from any massive amounts of resin maybe we should just make this a really really nice wooden piece what do you think what do you think huh can i actually make something without using resin it's gonna be tough but we'll give it a go and see if i break <laughs> Just notice this if you look carefully you can see like there's loads of little like black kind of little bits in this wood like loads of little black like stitchings really really weird markings it looks really quite cool actually i don't know what it is you can see it there look just full of it just just black kind of like like it's got stubble <laughs> they're everywhere how strange is that i've no idea what this piece of wood is at all but it looks pretty cool so i know i said i wasn't <laughs> gonna use any resin but i just just a bit concerned about these little holes here and i kind of was just thinking maybe we should try to get just a little bit of resin in there just a tiny wincy wincy bit yeah okay <laughs>
So I made myself a little mould. Uh, attached it to the piece. I didn't want to take it off the lathe and kind of make a big mould and put in a lot of resin and waste a lot of resin because it really is only this little bit here really that I wanted to kind of, you know, put a bit of resin in. Um, I may try and push a bit into there, but but mainly kind of just that bit. That was it. So I haven't used a lot of resin. <laughs> it's not got going to have a lot of resin in it. Um, but I think that it did need something in there. So I've knocked up a bit of the greenage. I thought that might look quite nice. Is it green? What would you call that? It's green, isn't it? Greeny blue. So wait for this to go off a little bit and then we'll stick in some boginess. Okay, yes, so there's my little mould. <laughs> this is weird, isn't it? I don't think you've ever seen a mould be put on like this before. Um, but I have my reasons, trust me. So I'm going to leave that overnight and then we'll take that off and then we'll just chop off the excess, obviously, that we don't need. Um, and then we'll just be left with those holes filled in with some of this, this green resin now i know i know i said i wasn't going to use any resin on this project but when i saw the holes afterwards i just thought oh no i really want to use a bit of resin now so i'm so fascinated by these little holes it's like like i say it looks like a little beard look 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 at all the holes in there what is that little black bits if somebody knows then i'd love to hear what it is right i'll see you in the morning folks Okay. Here we go. This is ready to rock. And guess what? Guess what? It didn't leak. <laughs> that has got to be the first resin pour <laughs> I've ever done that didn't leak. Or the first mould that I've kind of made. Look at that. Didn't leak. So anyway, we, <laughs> we did this for a purpose just so we could get a little bit of resin in there. So let's demold this. And we will chop this out and see what we got left. Oh, yes. So this <laughs> is what we have. So that has basically just covered up the hole. So it didn't need a lot of resin, but obviously it was the only way to get that little bit in there. So I think we definitely conserved a lot of resin. So this just needs a bit more rubbing down. Um, and then that will polish up quite nice, I think. So it's quite cool, it's quite cool. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna be making yet, but I've, I don't know, I've just got this, I've just got this idea by looking at it. And with all this burnt here, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Okay, so we're done with putting a couple of coats of sanding sealer on this. It's looking nice. So now we're going to be chucking on some Yorkshire git. Let me read you the ingredients. Bear with me. I don't have my glasses. A sand blended mix of mineral oil, lemon juice, hair wax, and rotten stones. 
Hummus, all designed to give your wood turning the perfect sound station for fishing. I have no idea why I added a light.
but I did. I had no idea where I was going with this at all. I think it turned out quite well. Not sure if it's worth a trumpet blow or not. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed this project. It was a fairly long one, I think. But I just want to get in there. Please, could you check me out on Instagram? I am getting close to the 50,000 mark, which is what I wanted, because I want to do a couple of giveaways. I've got a few things in mind to give away. Um, this is a little kind of like thank you, really, for everyone supporting me on here and on there. Um, so check me out on Instagram, I'll leave the links below. If you want to check out the stuff that I use on my channel, all the links are below, like, like the resin that I use, the Yorkshire grit. I apologise I didn't get a project up last week, but you did have double the whammy the week before. I also have a couple of other channels as well, if you want to check them out. Nick Zimetti Unwaffled, and that's just projects, no music, no talking. <laughs> I know some of you like that, but I know a lot of you don't. But it's there if you want it. And then also my other channel, which is kind of just me kind of doing videos of holidays and cars and stuff like that. Check it out. Bye, I love you and leave you folks. Have a fab weekend. I really do appreciate everyone's support on Patreon and just on my channel in general. Thank you so much. I really, really am quite excited to get to that one million uh, subscriber mark which is coming up fast um, so welcome to all, all my new subscribers to the channel I hope you stick around I hope it's what you kind of thought it was when you joined in we do all sorts of weird stuff on here it's a bit like Forrest Gump on here you never know what you're gonna get it's weird it's crazy but we love it take care folks give me a thumbs up and I'll see you really soon <laughs> <laughs>